The difference between crimping and swaging is when you're crimping, you're really distorting the outer part so that it joins with the inner part and then they become secured together. Um, when you're swaging, it's kind of the same fashion, but the, the outer part is actually forming around the inner part and it's kind of bonded together where now the part is one instead of two separate parts that are joined together. You have one part that is, that is physically bonded together. Um, the benefit of that is in certain applications like wire rope or, or other applications when you're putting a fit in over an inner, inner product, um, when you swage it, the, the pull force to remove that outer product from the inner product is much greater than when you're just physically crimping the two products together. Um, for instance, with wire rope, we swage fit-ins over the end of wire rope for, for pulling military cargo and, and other applications. And when you swage that, that fit-in over the wire rope, the wire rope will actually physically break before the fit-in and the wire rope separate from each other. Um, versus when you actually crimp the fit-in over the wire rope, the wire rope and the fit-in will remove at that joint and you'll have two separate products. Um, so, so again, the benefit of, of swaging versus crimping is you get a higher pull force and, and your outer product is generally bonded to the inner product and it creates that, that one product.